So 99.999999999999% of the time when you're shooting a music video, there's gonna be like absolutely zero budget for production, especially when you're trying to help out a good friend. <laughs> when that happens, it's really easy to just make like the same, like super boring cliche music video over and over again, like someone singing on a beach or like, screaming to their lover or like sitting at a piano alone. I don't, I don't know, whatever cliche music video you can think of. So the key here is to take what you have at your disposal and get as absolutely wild and creative as you possibly can with those things. And that's what me and my buddy Noah did again. <laughs> so if you watch the channel very often, you know who Noah Guy is. You know that we make music videos all the time together. And you know that we don't really spend a ton of money on production, but we do get like pretty crazy with our ideas from time to time. And the new one that we shot together is absolutely no exception to that. And actually might be my favorite music video that Noah and I have shot together to this day. It's so fun. Like, can't wait for you to see it. So let's watch it. And then afterwards, we'll talk about how we made no budget into this, what you're about to see. That's been on and on Cause to myself up oh, oh, One heart goes broke Honey, we both know I heard a wise man Say only fools rushing But if you listen I promise I'm gonna put the time in It's in your eyes Between the lines The poetry's bittersweet But it's music to my ears so I'ma play that shit on repeat All I need is the rhythms between us to know it's so far beyond the wonder and the lust Now this is life, nothing short of A ballad from above That's that it's strange, the record plays The song I time Hope you liked it. 
again, like I'm super pumped on this one. Like it's so much better than so many music videos that I've shot in the past where I actually had like thousands of dollars for the budget. So let's run over what we did to get creative on this music video and how you can take that kind of approach for yourself to get creative on your own music videos. So if you notice the props in this music video played a gigantic role in making this one so unique and different. So the raw concept for this video is actually Noah's idea and I just took his vision and put it into video form. And I'll be honest, like I still don't 100% really get the concept or really get the motifs through the props, but it worked and made for some awesome visuals. <laughs> so if we ended up going to this field with none of these props that we took with us, it would have just turned into like another cliche music video of a musician singing his heart out in a field. And why yes, it would have been beautiful with like the nice sunlight and everything. It would have been like nothing unique about it and no way to distinguish it from anyone else's music videos. But the props that we did end up taking into the field ended up telling a very unique story that you're not necessarily used to seeing. Like we're not used to seeing a grown ass man barefoot in the field building a butterfly kite. We're not used to seeing like this weird butterfly mask on people's faces. Like if you do see that, maybe you should just like run the other direction because it was kind of creepier than I imagined it would be when Noah first initially texted me like, hey, I had this like cool butterfly mask I wanna use. I thought it would be a little different and less serial killer-y. <laughs> like these props are kind of what made like this music video so different. And they're all things that were just lying around Noah's parents' house. I don't think Noah did exactly this, but if you're struggling to come up with ideas, look around you, like what in your apartment, what in your house, what in your friends' houses, like what do they have that could be used as unique props to pull into your videos and help tell a story in a different way. Kind of like that like Wayne Brady show. I think it was like, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Where they would have the, the competition where it'd be like a random prop and they'd have to like make a story with that prop and just like test your creativity. Like do that for your videos. Like it doesn't have to make sense. Music videos never have to make sense or music videos are like these dream worlds that you create. So just like run with it. <laughs> so the next thing that made this music video very unique in itself was the way I shot it. For one, in shooting this, we're obviously lighting with the sun. And when you're shooting into the sun, I typically like to put the sun behind my subject, but then that silhouettes our subject a little bit. So in order to add a little light to Noah's face to wrap that sunlight around Noah's face, what I would typically do is bounce light and I'd bounce light just like I would in any other video. And so typically when I'm bouncing light, I use one of these guys, these like really cheap five in one reflectors that you pretty much everyone has, I feel like. Boom. And traditionally what I would do is bounce light back with this white side or bounce light back with the silver reflecting side. But for this video, instead of using this white side, I decided I was gonna try something new and for the first time in one of my videos, used this gold reflection side. This is literally why I love this music video so much. The look that we got from reflecting the sunlight back with this gold side into Noah's face was like this old, like nostalgic, like Hollywood look that they used to do like way back when. And also kind of played into the idea of this music video being like more of like a dream life and not reality. Because in the natural world, you're not seeing like gold reflection bouncing back on the people's face. So if we're looking at a couple of our frames here, we're looking at this gold reflector in action. Here we have Noah, the sun's back here behind Noah backlighting Noah in order to wrap this light around Noah, this gold light. I have the gold reflector right here, bouncing that light back into Noah's face in this like very gold sheeny look. And you can see it in Noah's eyes. You can see it on his face here. Just like, it looks so cool. Never thought it would work as well as it did. Here's another example. Sun's back behind Noah here. Reflectors here, bouncing that gold sunlight back into Noah's face, really making him pop, especially against this blue sky that we have here. Let's see what else we got. Again, sun behind Noah, reflector here, bouncing that gold light into Noah. You can actually even see the reflector in Noah's eyes right there. This like cheap 
thing that I've had for so long that I've never used and just decided to experiment with it ended up just like creating this beautiful look that I love. And what we also did while shooting this was take full advantage of this space, this location that we decided to pick, this field. I think we shot every single thing that you saw in this music video in the same like 50 foot radius of this cornfield. We put Noah in the field. We put him sitting down in a chair. We shot up angles at him. We laid him down on the ground, shot top down at Noah. We gave the camera the perspective of binoculars. We gave the camera perspective of this bag that he was looking down into. Something that I also really enjoy about this music video is more than others I've shot in the past, is that every single like bridge, verse, chorus has its own like unique visuals paired with that and it never repeats. Every new component of the song has a new set of visuals to it even if it's within the same locations and the same kind of ideas, it's all fresh angles and it keeps me, you, the viewer interested in the music video. So when you are pressed for resources, you are pressed for time and you do have this location, make sure you take the absolute most of it because there's always different angles, always different things that you can play with within like a very small space. And the last thing that made this video unique and creative is what I did in the post-production of it. If you've seen a bunch of Noah's videos in the past, you know that on every single music video that I shoot from Noah, I put like a very like intense look on every single one of them. All the concepts that we come up for, for Noah's videos are all like very surreal, like dream-like concepts that takes any role in the, the color grading rule book, if there are color grading rules, and it takes it and just rips it up and it throws it away into the trash. So I'm able to create very strong looks for all of Noah's films and inject like the mood that I want you to feel into the color. Like if you don't have resources, color grading is the most effective tool you can have to take an okay image and make it look beautiful. I attribute so much success at the beginning of my career to being able to color grade and understanding color grading because I was able to take crappy cameras, crappy framing, crappy lighting and make it look decent because I knew how to color grade properly and make it look like a good image even if it necessarily wasn't shot so well. So just like a real quick tip for you for color grading, a really easy way to inject mood into your video is to take color and put it into the highlights of your film. For this video in particular, I put a lot of warmth into the highlights to make everything feel a little like more nostalgic, if you will. And you can do that super easily just by going to uh, your whatever color grading program you're using. I use Adobe Premiere just by going to the color wheels and just pushing uh, a color in a certain direction into the highlight little wheel that they have. Another like really like simple thing that I do to all of Noah's videos is I add these like little like filmic matte borders to all of his videos. I'm a huge fan of these mats. It makes it look like very vintage and it makes it look very filmic. And it almost feels like you're like being like pulled into this like screen, this like little portal. I actually made some of these matte borders myself in Adobe Photoshop. So if you wanna check those out, they're in the description below. So like at the end of the day, taking what you have at your disposal, taking these resources that you're limited to can be such a motivating factor for some of the best ideas that you'll ever have. There's something like weirdly beautiful that happens when you put these like strong logistical parameters on the creative side of things. Don't look at these logistical parameters as a negative. Look at them for an opportunity for you to prove to the world that you're a gosh darn animal. <laughs> Go out and make something super weird this week, something that you're truly proud of. Thanks as always for watching and I love you.